Open your book to page 240. Today's lesson is on simplifying the products of factors. So basically means you, you have more factors and you have to multiply it and you have to simplify it. So let's go over example one. And start with A. So you have 6x times negative 2x to the 3. So, when, so basically you want to multiply. So when you multiply, first you do is take care of the sign, then the number, then the alphabet. Okay? So positive times negative will give you negative. 6 times 2 will give you 12. Now if the numbers are fairly easy, you can do the sign and the number together. So you can do 6 times negative 2 give you negative 12. Okay? So you can do that. But if you have a lot of stuff, then you might want to do the sign first and then do the number, then do the alphabet after that. Okay, the next step, okay, so take care of the number, then do the alphabet. So you're going to x times x to the 3, we give you x to the 4, and that's it. Okay, so again, it's very simple. Let's go to b. You have negative 2a squared b times 5, a to the 3, b to the 3. So you can take care of the number first. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Then you go down the alphabet. So a squared times a3 give a to the 5. Then b times b to the 3 give you b to the 4. And that's it. Now be careful how you write your exponent. Make sure it's kind of up. Okay, a little bit higher. Don't, don't write it too low. Okay, make sure it's up. Okay, let's go to c. You have negative 5 y squared. You got 2y, you got negative 4y cubed. So again, when there's a lot of stuff, you might want to go and start to do step by step. So let's take care of the sign. So you got negative, positive, negative. So it you, you give you positive, right? So take care of the sign. Then you take care of the number after that. So 5 times 2 is 10, times 4 is 40. Then after that, you go down the alphabet. So you got y squared, y, and y to the 3. So 2 plus 1 plus 3 give you 6. So it be y to the 6. So when you box your answer, you don't have to box the positive, right? Because that, that means it's positive already. Okay, let's go to D. You have negative 2 to the 4. x, y squared times 2 to the 3. x squared, y to the 3. So go and multiply out. So this is going to be negative 2 to the 7. And this will be x to the 3. And y to the 5. Now if, the, if you have number by itself, you probably can just leave it like that. But when you have the, when you have a, when you mix with the other stuff like a variables or groups, normally you want to multiply out because right now it looks kind of weird. Okay, so go and work it out if you have other stuff. So multiply, so you can use calculator, right? So negative 128, x to the 3, y to the 5. So make sure you know how to use your calculator to do this, to do the exponents. If you don't, then you need to ask for help. I will come and help you how to do that. Okay, so next, let's go to 3, x, y squared to the 3. So... Some of you probably don't remember the power rule yet. So if you don't remember the power rule, what you need to do is write it out three times. Right, that's what a cube means, right? So three times. Then after you multiply, so three times three is nine, times three is 27. X times X times X is X to the three. Y squared, Y squared, Y squared, give you Y to the six, and that's it. So again, it's very simple, very straightforward. Okay, so let's go and do some practice. 